Hello students, today we will discuss about the somites. Now, when you will see the dorsal surface of the embryo in the midline on both the sides, you are able to appreciate these round elevations. Now, dear students, these round elevations are known as somites. In my class of type of the intraembryonic mesoderm, we have seen that there are three types of intraembryonic mesoderm paraaxial mesoderm, then you will have intermediate mesoderm, and then you will have lateral plate mesoderm. Now, I told you that this paraaxial mesoderm is going to form the somites which appear as a surface elevation on the dorsal surface of developing embryo. So, today I will tell you that if you will have this short note in your exam, how to write and how to attempt this question. So, the first thing always comes is how will you define the somites. So, somites are cubical shape structures and they are actually the segments of paraaxial mesoderm. Now, this is a key word of this definition that somites are the segmentations of paraaxial mesoderm. And what is the location? They lies on both the side of the midline that means on the side of developing notochord and neural tube. Now, what is the time of appearance? Now, my dear students, the time of appearance of somites is known as somite period and somite period is from 20th day to 30th day, clear? That means the first somite appear on the 20th day after fertilization. Now, in this image, what you are able to appreciate that, you know this is your ectoderm, this is your underlying endoderm, this is your middle structure is the notochord and in the sides you are able to see this is your somites area. Now, in this area where you will have intraembryonic mesoderm, it is divided into the three part, this is paraaxial, this is lateral plate and this is intermediate mesoderm. Now, later on when there is a development occur, what will happen that this paraaxial mesoderm is going to form the somites. Now, what is the process of the formation of somite? Now, what will happen? First, there is a organization of paraaxial mesoderm. Now, you know that the notochord present from the precordal plate to the primitive node. That is why the paraaxial mesoderm which also extends from the precordal plate to the primitive node will show the changes in term of somite. So, you know that this is your embryonic disc. Now, this is your precordal plate. Here, this is primitive node and the streak. Now, here is the developing notochord. Now, the paraaxial mesoderm which is parallel to this notochord is showing the first organization on both the side of this notochord. So, what is the extension of paraaxial mesoderm? The paraaxial mesoderm extends from the precordal plate to the primitive streak. So, first the paraaxial mesoderm organized from the precordal plate to the primitive streak on both the side of the notochord. Now, what will happen that this mesoderm undergoes the condensation and the first structure which is going to form is known as somatomeres. So, this paraaxial mesoderm give rise to the structure is known as somatomere. Clear? So, first there is a formation of somatomeres. Now, the somatomeres will show the segmentation and these segments are known as somite. So, the somite arises from somatomeres. Clear? What is the process? That first, there is a paraaxial mesoderm. This paraaxial mesoderm organized itself on both the side of the developing notochord. Then, this paraaxial mesoderm show the condensation, which is going to form somatomeres. Somatomeres will show the segmentation and that is known as somites. Now, why I am saying that somites not directly develop from the paraaxial mesoderm because students you have to keep this thing in mind that the somatomeres which are present in the head region, which region? Head region do not show any kind of segmentation that means the somites are absent into the 
area around developing brain. So, somites start to appear from the occipital region and below. Now, my dear students, you have to understand this concept that when we are talking about a complete form baby or in a human adult, what we are able to understand here that this is your one landmark which is known as external ear. Now, inside the, in, in the ear, you will have the internal ear. Now, here what you are able to understand that if I will draw a line here, you are able to understand that the somites are going to form vertebral bodies and you will realize that vertebral bodies are not present above the occipital bone level. And this level can be decided by the level of your ear. So, you do not have the vertebral bodies here. Why? Because you do not have the somites here. If somites will develop here around the developing brain, then your vertebral column will start very high level. But our vertebral column starts from below the occipital bone. So, this concept has to understand by everyone that why our vertebral column is absent around the developing brain. The only answer is that because somites are not present around the developing brain. So, you have to keep this thing in mind that our vertebral column is present in this region below the occipital bone. Now, here if you will see the same thing in the developing embryo, you have to understand that once there is a formation of otic vesicle, which is a surface landmark in the ectoderm, this otic vesicle act as a landmark and here you can see that the somites, that means these round circle elevations are seen after this your otic vesicle. These somites are not present in this re region around the developing brain. Clear? So, dear students, whenever you are reading the somites, you have to keep this thing in mind that when we are talking about the arrangement of the somites, in the upper part, somites are not present around the developing brain. So, at what level somites start to develop? For that, we are taking a landmark which is known as otic vesicle, which is known as otic vesicle. So, the position or the line of demarcation between the somitomeres and somite is decided by the otic vesicle. So, what we are doing is that we are dividing the appearance in the, into the two part pre aortic region and post aortic region. In the post aortic region, you will have the segmented areas which are known as somites, but in the pre aortic region, you are having unsegmented areas which are known as somitomeres. And these somitomeres are present around the developing brain that means they lies around the head area. So, if somebody will ask you that paraaxial mesoderm around the developing brain is having somites, answer is no. Around the brain we do not have somites, otherwise what will happen? You definitely have the vertebral column in this part of the head also, clear? So, it lies in the region of developing brain that means we are talking about pre-aortic part of paraaxial mesoderm where you do not have somite, you have somitomeres which are unsegmented part of paraaxial mesoderm. So, this is the basic thing to understand. When you are writing the somite, you keep this thing in mind that the level of the appearance of aortic vesicle is a line of demarcation between the pre and post aortic part of paraaxial mesoderm and this pre aortic part which is present around the developing brain is not having somites. Now, what is the most important concept around about the somite that somite used for the assessment of the age of developing embryo. Now, how? Now, the important thing is that I already told you first pair of the somite appears on 20th day. So, the first thing is that this is your dorsally placed midline. Now, this is your precordal plate. Here, this is your primitive node and primitive streak. Now, when you are talking about the appearance of the somite, you have to understand that somite always appear in the form of pair, clear? So, this is suppose the appearance of the first pair of the somite. 
Somite never appear as a single or unpaired structure, it is a paired structure. So, this is a first pair and this first pair develop on the 20th day of intrauterine life. Now, where it is lies? It is lies on both the side of the notochord in occipital region. Now, the somites appear in the craniocaudal direction. That means, after that, the somites will go like this. They will no, not going in the upward direction. Now, so what will happen that the somites, those will appear first are the oldest. So, it is appear on the 20th day. Now, then the next day you will have more somites. On the next day you will have more somites, more somites. So, what will happen that somite which appears here is the younger and the somites which are appear here are the older by the age. Clear? Now, there are 42 to 44 somites in number. Now, this is again a question for your exam. How many somites appear in the intrauterine life? Answer is 42 to 44. Now, these somites are divided or grouped in such a way. How? Now, you know that when we are talking about the spinal nerves, you will have cervical, then you will have thoracic, then you will have lumbar, then you will have sacral, and then you will have coccygeal. Now, apart from that, here you will have one more set is known as occipital. Now, if we are talking about the numbers, their numbers are almost equal to the numbers of your spinal nerve. So, it is easy to remember cervical, they are 8 somites, 8 pair, thoracic, 12 pair, lumbar, 5 pair, then sacral, they are 5 pair, coccygeal are 8 to 10 pair, and occipital, which is additional hair, they are 4 in number. So, if you will add 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 5 plus 5 plus 8 to 10, it comes around 42 to 44 somites. Clear? So, when you are reading the somite, the first thing which I told you that first pair of the somite appear on the 20th day, then they will develop in the caudal direction. Now, these somites are grouped as occipital, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral and coccygeal region somites. So, the somite gives an idea about the fetal age because the first somite appear on the 20th day, then the three pairs of the somites get segmented every day. What is the meaning? That if you are talking about 20th day, you will have one pair. Now, on the 20th day, this is the first pair which appears plus the three will add on that day. So, when you will have the 21st day, what will happen? You will have the 4 pair plus the 3 will add. So, you will have 7 pairs. Clear? So, on the 20th day, you will total have the 4 pairs. On the 20th, 21st day, you will have the 7 pairs, so on. Now, suppose you are having this embryo and you have to identify the approximate age of this embryo. So, we have to first count the pair of somites. So, here is the 1. Then you will have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, there are around 11 somites. So, now when you are talking about the age, now I told you that these 4 appear on the 20th day, then next 3 will appear on the 21st day, then next 3 will appear on the 22nd day. So, approximately this is a embryo of 22 days. It is a embryo of approximately 22 days. Clear? So, how you have to assess that first pair appear on the 20th day plus there is a addition of 3 pairs. Now, on every day you have the appearance of almost 3 pairs of the somites. The somites appear as a surface elevation. That is why they are visible on the dorsal side in the developing embryo. Now, what is the structure of somite? If you will take a cross section, you will realize that somites are divided into the three parts from ventral to dorsal, that means from yolk sac towards the amniotic cavity. If you will go from downward to upward, from ventral to dorsal, the most lowermost portion is known as sclerotome. Now, this sclerotome, which is the most lower or ventral or ventromedial part, is going to form the scleral tissue, means vertebral bodies and ribs. Above that, you will have myotome, 
myotomes is going to form the skeletal muscles and the dorsal most structure is your dermatome and dermatome is going to form your dermis and subcutaneous tissue on the dorsal aspect clear so these are the three subdivisions of the somites now what is the correlation between the number of somites and number of spinal nerves now my dear students what will happen that when the somites are developing on both the side of the neural tube the neural tube start to send the nerves to their respective muscle component or myotomes so when you are talk talking about the number of spinal nerves because there are eight somites in the cervical region so eight pair of the cervical nerves supply those somites in the next part there are 12 pairs of the somites so all the 12 pairs somites muscle components supplied by 12 spinal nerves on both the side from the neural tube in such a way you will realize that why there are eight cervical nerve why there are 12 thoracic nerve why there are five lumbar nerve the only reason is because the neural tube initially start to innervate the muscle components or myotomes of the somites so the number of somites which are present are all supplied by the nerves which are coming out from developing neural tube except in the region of the coccyx where you have 8 to 10 somites but in the human beings these somites regresses and we are hardly have one or two somite persist so the myotomes of the cervical thoracic lumbar sacral and coccygeal somites are innervated by the nerves which are growing out from the neural tube so if i am having the nine cervical somites then there has to be the nine cervical spinal nerves but I am having the eight somites in the cervical region. That's why I am having the eight cervical spinal nerves. So sometimes you have this question that what is the correlation or how will you justify the number of cervical, thoracic, sacral, lumbar, spinal nerves? Why there are five lumbar? Why there are uh, 12 thoracic spinal nerves? The only answer is that this number is decided by the number of somites. So, this is the important concept to keep in mind that in the coccygeal region, initially you have the somites which are exceeding the number, but subsequently the somite degenerates. So, the number of somites correspond to the number of spinal nerves. Clear? So, now my dear students, at the end of this session of the somites, what you are able to understand that what is the definition of somite? Somite develops from the paraaxial mesoderm. Somites are uh, arising from the somatomeres. Somatomeres means unsegmented. Somite means segmented paraaxial mesoderm. And somites are starting from the post aortic region, that means from the occipital region, and then they will go caudally. Around the developing brain, we don't have the somites, and this is the basic concept. That's why we don't have the vertebral column around the brain area. So this is all for the session. Thank you.